अब स्टूडेंट्स कुछ बात करेंगे अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्विचिंग स्टूडेंट्स इंटरनेटवर्क की एग्जाम्पल हम लोगों ने स्टडी की थी इंटरनेटवर्क इज बेसिकली अ स्विस्ट नेटवर्क वट डू आई मीन बाय दैट ट्रैफिक को एक नेटवर्क के पार्ट से दूसरे नेटवर्क के पार्ट में जाने के लिए यू ऑलवेज नीड टू हैव अ स्विच दैट फॉरवर्ड्स द ट्रैफिक फ्रॉम वन पार्ट ऑफ दैट नेटवर्क टू द अदर पार्ट स्टूडेंट्स वेन वी टॉक अबाउट स्विचिंग देर आर टू बेसिक टाइप्स ऑफ स्विचिंग दैट इज यूज इन टूडेज नेटवर्क वन इज मोर कॉमन दैन द अदर बट बोथ आर प्रिवेलेंट इन टूडेज नेटवर्क स्टूडेंट्स द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ द स्विचिंग इज कॉल्ड एज द सर्किट स्विचिंग नेटवर्क एंड द सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ स्विचिंग दैट वी यूज इन डेटा कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम इज कॉल्ड एज द पैकेट स्विचिंग नेटवर्क स्टूडेंट्स स्लाइड पर चलेंगे एंड विल टेक यू through each one of those types in some more detail in the slide as you can see circuit switched network is a network in which there is a circuit which is always existent between the two switches in order to initiate the communication we'll need to establish a circuit first so a circuit is established when communication is required and it is torn down when the communication or the requirement of communication is over between the two switches students the switch in this particular case once the circuit is established the switch can only make the circuit active or inactive but that does not take away the requirement of that circuit to be established before any communication can take place between the two end points students in this example as you can see our end points are telephone sets we have not used computer uh, systems or we have not used laptops in this particular case and the reason for that is that circuit switching it was very common it still exists in quite a few um, telecom systems telecommunication systems or telephone systems the pstn system a uh, quite a few of these telephone networks now use the second type that we are going to be talking about which is packet switching but circuit switching was particular to it was specific to the networks that contain um, telephone systems students another thing that you can observe in this in this slide is that the the line or the link that connects the two switches is a high capacity line whereas the links or the connections that connect each of the telephone sets to the switch they are the low capacity lines so in this particular case we can envision a scenario in which all four telephone sets in one end they are talking to the telephone sets in the other end if that's the case then we are utilizing the whole capacity of the link between the two switches that the two switches however students if only one telephone set is using the link only one telephone set is talking to one telephone set on the other end then we are only using one fourth of the capacity of the line that connects the two switches so students very important concept in circuit switched network in circuit switching only when the link is fully utilized can this circuit switch be fully efficient we can only use it to 100% capacity if all four lines as can be seen in this figure are busy our students second type of the switched networks that we have got are called packet switched networks the most common type of switching in fact the only type of switching that you will find in the data communication system today is the packet switching the data is sent from point a to point b using packets now students as you can see the two sides are connected using the routers in this particular case and once again you have got a high capacity line connecting the two routers and you have got a low capacity line that uses um the the machine or the laptops that are on the sending and the receiving end and and they are connected to the router with that so friends a point that we made in terms of utilizing the capacity in the case of circuit switch networks in a packet switch there is a queue that exists that will hold 
the packets until those packets are transmitted and the line is available between the two routers. What I mean by that is that if we assume that the capacity of the thick line is only twice the capacity of the thin line, the data line connecting the computer to the router, then only two computers at one end can communicate to the two other computers on the other end. Now, very important point, if computer number three and four, they start transmitting at the same time, then as I told you, we need to establish a queue at the router and those packets from computer number three and four will be held until the line gets free and then those packets will be transmitted to the far end. So students, this was the concept of switching. We will elaborate on this concept further, but you need to understand that there are two major types of switching or switched networks. The first one is a circuit switch network and the second one is a packet switch networks. The most common that we are going to be encountering going forward are the packet switch networks. Thank you.